Hey, what's up? I <clears throat> figured I'd do this because now I got a little bit cooler. Just a little bit. <laughs> Still hot as hell. Got the air conditioner on. Talk about a few things. Of course, when you start talking, you, there's some noise. But, um... talk about that Haitian earthquake like I always say one time you can say all right but again it's no longer a coincidence especially when the Dominican Republic wasn't hit now I just looked up before I got on just to see the epi you know the whole uh, coverage of the earthquake apparently parts of Cuba they say the Dominican Republic hit it, but the main part in Haiti was obviously towards the capital and the western side or that western lower uh, peninsula area. Now, if, it, if the whole coverage can be, is supposed to have been, it's the 7.2, which is large, which is supposed to have been covering about a quarter or a third of Cuba, how come Haiti only gets the damage I mean some people say harp I don't think it's harp I think uh, they've been drilling for oil and seeing whatever else they can find probably stealing the goddamn oil <laughs> that's probably what the hell they're doing and of course they keep destabilizing the country after that assassination and then uh, you kill people in the process targeted terrorism towards Haiti. Plus, if you could recall, back in the days, they used to have an issue with Haitian and Haitians and AIDS. They uh, used to say, oh man, if somebody's Haitian, they're, they're bound to have AIDS more than anybody else on the planet, aside from the gays. You know, all that kind of stuff. Again, it, you know, this is not coincidence. And the Dominican Repub uh, Republic already had their uh, issues with the United States as far as coups with that Trujillo. Uh, the CIA killed that guy. And now the Haitian president is at it again. And again, I, I analyze things and I keep thinking. A lot of times that's all you can do. And come up with your own answers based on the evidence. And not emotion, which I'm going to get into that kind of thing in a minute, too. But you look at Castro, Cuba. Took over the country. He was celebrated, just like Hitler was celebrated. And, um... Then after he turned communist, then all of a sudden, he was a villain. They got to kill him. They made attempts to kill him, or mainly the, the main attempts that they made were the, was the bad pigs that at least try to take over the country. But, and they claim that's one of the reasons they killed Kennedy. I don't think it's because of the bad pigs event itself. It's because Kennedy was clearly not their puppet. So that was just one of the events that they, you know, they already had in progress before Kennedy came into power. So then he fires everybody that was in business before he was, you know, a long story. But bottom line is they didn't kill Castro. That's the, that's the bottom line. <laughs> I mean, they had many presidents after Ka after Kennedy to do it. They didn't do it. So... What was Castro's real role? Maybe it could be as I read more about the in-depths of the Vietnam situation with Ho Chi Minh, seeing that he was a part of the West. He was their puppet as well. I mean, the more you read, the more you start saying, man, what, what, what is it? And I guess it goes to show the small hats, they created capitalism and communism, so they needed an enemy. And I was just reading today, Russia 
does not recognize the, the Afghan government. And that's what I noticed throughout the Cold War. And you kind of see that when you watch those James Bond movies too. You see the Russians, they always got a, they know somebody in the KGB, they're cool with them, but they're never really going at each other, so to speak, if you notice. You know? And I think that's what it was. Because I always said it was all about white power, global white power. Russia, Eastern Europe, and Asia, the others, everything else. And in this global situation, you got people who talk about black and brown, but the brown, and that can include India, even though they're black, and uh, what do you call it, the Latin America, who thinks that they're white. You can't trust them. So you can, you can mark them off. But it's a uh, cold. The Cold War was a bunch of bullshit. It was just to keep European colonialism and white power in effect. Because they didn't kill Castro, which is always the question that nobody answers. All these experts, how come they never killed Castro? I mean, why was the man allowed to live so long? You know when they live so long, it's usually because they're down with the order. Like Farrakhan, Queen of England, everybody you could think of. They live so long. If they're not down with it, they get shot down. Like that Haitian president, JFK. Which is easier? Shooting Castro or shooting the president of the United States in his own country? Since you answered the question, how come they didn't go for the easier route? How come they never again tried to invade Cuba? And why did they have to do it the way they did it since when they always recount the Cuban situation, Bay of Pigs, they never uh, talk about the fact that the United States has a colony in Cuba called Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> they, never, they never mention that. So, I mean, the shit wasn't difficult to, to do if that's what they wanted to do. But, of course, we're playing games. Now, I was listening to the radio today. And, what'd they say? Something about New Yorkers... Uh, staying together or we're going to get through this pandemic and after it's done it's going to create a equal world for everybody or some shit like that I said now come on I mean only the dim with it can't see it that's why I made that video called forced change it obviously included a whole lot more than what I said in it. But as you know, when the censorship starts, say again, when they censor you, it's never for good. It's for bad. So they don't want to free the United States because this was the anomaly country. Contrary to popular belief, the United Kingdom is not really that free. I mean, they are ruled by a monarchy and people keep lying to people or hearing the propaganda that the Queen of England is just a figurehead. Well, that money is not a figurehead. Her being on the money is not a figurehead. Her power is not a figurehead. Heads of state around the world kissing her ass. That's not a figurehead. Shit, you don't go meet what people or roll out the red carpet. For somebody who's a figurehead. Because if they're a figurehead. What the fuck can they do for you? But as you know. That's all bullshit. It's all strategy. You see the British are smart. In their empire. They just at least knew. To let the US. Fight the wars. And they'll look. We'll look. This, game, this country look like the bad guy. 
and the British will look like they're righteous, but yet they still hold colonies. Or influence over old ones. Now, I made that video about their weapons and stuff, so they still got top of the line weapons. Imperial pow powers. And I keep hearing about China is being allowed to buy a whole bunch of apartment buildings and a whole bunch of other shit in the United States that people keep saying, oh, China's trying to take over. China can only do what the white man will allow China to do. I know some of you say, no, nah, that ain't the case. You got to keep in mind, China's economy is robust because the white man made it that way. The small hats. I keep trying to tell you they're trying to control China with their economy. That's how you seduce people. Okay, well, we don't like your kind of government. This is coming from China. But once you start giving them a taste of luxuries and stuff and power and feed their egos, then all of a sudden they start uh, loving it. You want to talk about a figurehead, their communist country is just a figurehead country. Problem is, countries like those, all they want to do is keep controlling people until you push them too far. Now, if you control people with an iron fist and you don't give them shit, after a while, people are like, fuck it, I ain't got nothing to lose. You know? And that fall, the Soviet Union, that was some bullshit too. I always said, damn, how can that just conquer the Soviet Union when they kept talking about going to a nuclear war and shit? And that was it? That's what made the Cold War end? I said, this is bullshit. Then I knew some bullshit was going on. I didn't have to be told. And like bullshit is going on now. And like I said, you got to keep looking at the same people. Ale not Alexander Haig. Uh, Henry Kissinger, the Queen of England. These people are still around. Biden too. They're still around. It's the same people. And their descendants. Running the show. The only thing that's going to change for us is tightening uh, control. That's why they started this mass bullshit again. Now they're giving them away in some stores. Which, okay, matter of fact, I took one. And I noticed that the shit seemed a lot thicker than the ones I used to have. Which were official ones. These are some cheaper type ones. I said, damn, either my breathing is not strong like it was, or these shits are thick. But you knew that shit was going to happen. Talk about some Delta variants, and, you know, that just leaves everything open for more variants of their choosing. We got so, so many people still stupid. I mean, that's why they do what they do, because most people just a bunch of fucking idiots. I mean, if this, if this is... They told you to take the, the, the vax... And they said, "This is you need to do it. Go on a campaign, do it. Now they say, okay, well, it doesn't matter if you got it or not. You can still get it. There's still going to be problems. You're still not safe. So, I mean, come on. But this Haitian situation. I said all that to bring it back to that. To say that Haiti is targeted. See, the Dominican Republic, there's no way in hell. I'm sure we've seen earthquakes from around the world. We've heard of earthquakes in uh, California, and they affect a wide uh, range of areas of some kind. I could have sworn there was an earthquake in Virginia a few years ago. I think it was Virginia. And it affected all the way up to Massachusetts. I don't recall feeling anything, but according to the people who follow that kind of stuff, they said that they were uh, tremors from uh, all the way up to Massachusetts. From Virginia to Massachusetts. 
Only most devastating earthquake I can recall. I think it was in San Francisco during the baseball game. After that, I, I mean, in the United States, I can't think of anything. But there were always one ones in Turkey or Pakistan or somewhere like that. Seems like they they seem to happen in places, in, and you can even say Japan with that uh, Fukushima thing, because that what was that a tsunami or something like that? But you could say that that I thought I always felt that that was strange. I thought that was kind of terrorism, because the Japanese see they wouldn't say anything if they even knew that the United States was causing this shit, using this shit as a weapon. And I'm not gonna say it's harp, but I know low tones can be reproduced and low tones can destroy so that's not shocking and combine low tones on the water Haiti being targeted like that now yeah the Caribbean you can see it's a whole bunch of islands and obviously they got that way for, from a reason for a reason or for some odd reason sometimes it's volcanic too and I believe that is a, a lot of the case in the Caribbean but how come Cuba doesn't get these uh, uh, earthquakes? How come the Dominican Republic never gets these earthquakes? How can they get devastate Haiti, but they can't devastate or even damage the Dominican Republic? Remember last time they collected over a billion dollars for the Haitian earthquake relief. And what, 11 years later, Haiti still looks the way it looked before. And you can bet that they're going to collect money on this again. Probably using that money to tap into the oil. See, it is the thing with oil. I'm not going to be talking about whether it's money out or not. But you look at places like Dubai and Arabia, Saudi Arabia in particular. United Arab Emirates. No, damn well it should be United uh, Turkic Emirates. They get rich, Qatar, they get rich off of the uh, oil. And build up nice, spectacular cities. And a pretty good, decent way of life for the people. And an even better way of life for the royalty. But you look at Oman, not Oman. Yeah, Oman is rich too. But you look at, matter of fact, I see, I think I saw who the new leader is, Oman. But you look at Yemen. Always at war and broke. They have oil, but they're broke. Somalia has oil. All East Africa, they have oil, they're broke. Nigeria has oil. They claim that they're coming up, but when I was watching that guy uh, do his food show in Lagos with the, the people living on the water, I said, damn, that's a piece of shit country. And then when they actually show Lagos, uh, the actual city parts, I said, damn, that's, Nigeria is a piece of shit country. I said, no wonder why they're breaking in next to get over here. But you keep breaking your necks to get over here, you'll never be able to fix your own shit up. That's like living in a crappy apartment and you want to keep going over somebody else's apartment so you can stay away from yours. Okay. But you stay away from yours and ain't going to help fix yours up. You just neglect yours in favor of how somebody else keeps their shit up. Then if somebody else goes over there and takes your shit, and fixes the shit up, then you're going to act like, oh, I should be able to move back in there. No, it's too late now. It's not yours. <laughs> and the way things are going, I think somebody already moved in their, uh, their apartments <laughs> in Nigeria and Africa. And again, the, the white man would never allow the Chinese to do all that. It's all a setup. And I think the, the Chinese are not dumb enough to not know it. But you still got to go make your moves. 
while they're letting you make the, uh, the moves and you got to try to entrap them short of war you know because you got to keep in mind you're dealing with nuclear armed countries now so things aren't quite as they once were so it's just crazy but unfortunately Haiti was a colonial nation and it's an island and it shares uh, an island and it's poor so you could do but so much in that uh, place but I haven't checked their oil figures but you would think that if these other countries have oil and they can live the good life how come these other countries can't do it I know they got some, might, some people might say oh these countries got different uh, ethnic uh, uprisings but so does Arabia every country on earth has these things you got almost every country is occupied by a foreign government and foreign people who keep keeping other people down and keep lying to them and acting like they want to be friends and then they kill them you see that a lot in Ethiopia and Sudan uh, we want to be friends. Then uh, the other people, the weaker, go to sleep. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, damn. Then the weep weaker people go to sleep. And then... Next thing you know, the government is attacking them again. You could say that that's what Haiti is. You could say that that's what they're doing with us, too. But the difference is, we got coons out here who side with the master same thing with that Haitian situation with the assassination you had people who helped the white man kill your people again it wouldn't be done if coons would not sell out their people and let it get done talk another day uh, uh, with somebody about Saddam Hussein how he was a puppet his sole purpose even though he didn't know it was to take down Iran he, that's what he was used for he couldn't get the job done so then they said fuck it you're out of here never forget that fake ass Arab Spring which was just mass regime change. <laughs> That's all that shit was. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with Syria. And then you saw Sudan break in too. Now, when I say, you know, it was funny. We got so many dimwits out here. Because I used to uh, write comments about Sudan when it broke in too on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you realize this is why I don't like arguing with idiots. They say no, Sudan didn't uh, break in half. It, it's just one country in another country. Motherfucker, I didn't say it broke in half. I said it broke in two. I mean, when something breaks in two, that doesn't mean it breaks into into two equal parts. It just breaks into two, like it did. I mean, so, well, people like to argue just to argue. And, you know, unfortunately, that's what you get a lot of on YouTube. You get a lot of people who dropped out of the sixth grade, didn't know how to really read too well to begin with. Then they say, oh, man, the Internet, I got to get on the Internet in order to make things happen. And that's the only reason why they started learning how to read. <laughs> is to use the internet because you that's the one thing I guess that's good about it is that for people who can't read you got to learn how to read in order to use the internet even if you don't comprehend what the hell is down is on it you at least got to read but once these people discover how to read now they act like they fucking uh, on Albert Einstein's level and shit and it's fucking laughable but when you 
Like that dagger squad. I was trying to get on that. They kept kicking me off. <laughs> but they claim to be so smart. They claim the, the, the want challenges. They tell you to step up. When you step up to the plate, they don't want to hear it. What are they afraid of? What are they afraid of? But you know what they're afraid of. And speaking of that, I'll play the footage uh, soon because now I just finally hunted down one of those GPUs. First, it was, I, I was going to post how I did it. I was going to get a uh, post the method, the technique, but then I realized as I was about to utilize what I thought was a technique. That's when I realized <laughs> that uh, it's not a technique, it's all luck. And I got lucky. So, since I'm excited about that, I'm going to start, uh, you know, making more, popping out more videos just so I can see the power of it. I already know it's really fast in games, but I just want to see if it's faster than my CPUs. Because the last one couldn't hang with the CPU. This is weird, but so there's no technique. You just got to get lucky, apparently. But if you're near a micro center, I'll give you this tip. Anyway, they get delivery or at least the one in uh, Yonkers. Most of them should. They get deliveries every Wednesday and every Friday. So you got to go there and enter the, enter the damn lottery. I did on one Friday. I was the first one there because I'm tired of playing this game. First one to scan the damn thing. And of course, <laughs> which has been my luck when it comes to winning contests and shit like that, I was the last one called. <laughs> I said, ain't this a bitch? I said, I'm the first one to arrive. I didn't even see the other white guy that was right next to me. And they claim that it's pot luck. And then I look right. They said the computer is picking on me at random. But why? I'm like, why do guys keep looking at the, peep, the list of names if it's at fucking random? So then I said, man, this is some bullshit. So I go up to the guy. I said, listen, man, my name is right here. Apparently, I thought I was at the top of the list, but apparently the other guy must have scanned his information in quicker. So I was number two. And then after I made that remark, then all of a sudden I get the call up. But I already knew by then all the good shit was gone. So... Yeah, I got stuck with the $1,400 one. I said the 3080 Ti. I was like, that's good. That's a good bargain compared to any place else. But shit, at the taxes, it's like fifteen twenty five. dollars I said, I don't want that much in a GPU. Because I know I'll be upgrading again because you know the NVIDIA is going to bound to have 16 uh, gig of RAM on it pretty soon. So, anyway, man, bottom line is, man, uh, you, you got to take your chances on that. But you don't have to be first. Put it like that. <laughs> first in line. But they said when I was there, they said they had about 44 of those 3080 Ti's. I returned. I bought it just because I said, fuck it. I waited. Might as well buy it. Then I said, you know, I'm not keeping this shit. So I returned it. I want the new egg shuffle. That's what I did when. And then I returned it. And then I went, I think a couple of days later. Matter of fact, when I was there, I just went in the back just to see if they put any different ones on the shelves. And then they, they just had the 3080 TIs. So then <clears throat> a couple of days later, I said, you know what? Because I placed the order for the new A one because I said, fuck that tired is waiting around shit yeah I got stuck with a Zotac 
but it seems to be working pretty well so far. So I would never buy it a Zotac under any other circumstances, but in this case, hey. But so I said, let me do this before because I still had a chance to cancel the new egg. So I said, let me go to Queens. Wasn't going to Long Island again. I knew New Jersey was out. So I said, let me go to Queens and let me actually go to the Brooklyn one for once. Because the Brooklyn one was the one I had never been to. And uh, so Queens had nothing. Even though the website said they had something. Then I went to Brooklyn. Which was it? Hamilton. Crappy streets, crappy bridge. They need to repaint these bridges. Brooklyn, that part of Brooklyn is hit. <laughs> Even though I know I've been over there before, though. Um, but the store itself, though, I think that's the biggest one in the area, though. And it kind of reminded me of B&H. The way that shit is laid out and the way the, you know, it's, it's stacked and packed. Because the other ones are kind of laid out like suburban stores. That one's laid out like B&H. So that one looks like it's the biggest one, the Brooklyn one. But it's also the one that could be a great pain in the ass travel-wise, but... Bottom line is they didn't have anything. I got stuck with the new egg one, which I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. Uh, so I was just gonna say, with that, as I was saying about people who like to debate on YouTube, me, I just like to state the facts. But for some odd reason, you got people out here who want to state propaganda, and they lie to you. Why they're speaking to you. And the question is. Why do they need to lie? If you don't agree with the topic. Or position on the topic. Then state your facts. If you don't have the facts for them. Why lie? Because once you start lying. It's over with. You got to keep lying. But you know. I play uh, a couple of. Uh, I don't like calling them debates. I like calling them discussions. <laughs> because I never had I, I don't consider an impromptu thing a debate I, I just consider it a discussion but people take it as a debate but I guess the question is why do you have to keep with the position one of those positions we were talking about were the slave ships again you'll hear it but the argument is pretty clear in regards to the slave ships is you can't find the shit. Why are you defending a story that you can't prove and you can't find it? And when you tell them you're doing it because the white man says so, they want to act like, nah, the white man didn't tell me to do nothing. Well, where are you getting this shit from then? You're only getting it from the white man. You're not getting it from anybody else. You're getting these stories from the white man. The white man is telling you what your history is or should be. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. And with that being said, I plan on going live now. I want to demonstrate this card and I got some stuff I want to talk about. Even though it's kind of late from when I first had the inkling to talk about it, but it'll still work out. I'm going to explore some topics. And I urge people who, because there are a lot of people that I chat with on YouTube, they say they disagree with me. People in other channels they say they disagree with me they call me pseudo then I say to them 
when I do these lives, don't run away. You come on and prove your case or prove me wrong. See, it should be easy to prove me wrong because when I do, when I say what I say, I don't lie. I don't make shit up. I tell it like it is. So as long as I'm doing that and what I'm saying is pseudo, it should be easy for you to take me down. See, it's easy for me to take you down, but yet you got to keep lying. So pretty soon we're going to we're going to hit that I might do it on Wednesday. But once you see the uh, promotion up, that's when you know it's on. So with that being said, I'm going to be out of here. And uh, again, Haiti, unfortunately, it stays under attack. Those people got to get it together. Or, shit, man, they're going to have some serious problems. Where's the Tariq Nashi? Where's his uh, apartment building? I'm sure he'll probably say, oh, the earthquake got it. That was another thing I wanted to get into, Tariq Nashi. <laughs> but uh, I've spoken enough about him. But I will leave you with this. A lot of people starting to finally recognize the fact that he keeps putting us down. Using all types of tactics to get that money out of you. Oh, we need to do this. We need to build this. and We need to stop being scared. Shit. Again, you give him the money, then we ain't going to have shit. He's going to have shit. And you're going to be out. Like I am. <laughs>